Welcome back guys, Spinal Cross with Marky Mark here. Let's go straight up to all about the Raptors playoff edition style. James, what do we got? Uh, what do you guys think about Raptors playing Orlando? Do you, who's the X factor? How many games do you think it's going to take to beat them? Get the brooms out. No. Oh, oh, it's she one of those, man. Eh? <laughs> Get the brooms. I know. What makes you think it's going to be a sweep? Like, what's the... Um... Because, you know, the way ta- everyone is playing, moving the ball better, <coughs> like, the addition of Kawhi Leonard, give him the... move out the way and give him the ball. Mm-hmm. And if Kyle... If Kyle keeps doing what he's doing for the Raptors over the years, it's over. Like, I see a complete sweep because we all know what this year brings. Mm -hmm. If we don't make it to the finals, it's completely a bust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So we got, we got, what what do you thought? Like, are you you on the Uh, sweep portion as well? I would say... Yeah, game five or six, mm-hmm. and we close it up. But yeah. the only thing they need to stop is Vucevic because yeah. um, Vucevic mm-hmm. is averaging 20 points per game and 16 mm-hmm. rebounds mm-hmm. against the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, they don't have firepower like yeah. we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. we're much talented than they yeah. are. You guys mm-hmm. are really deep. Yeah. Like, for the that, that's kind of what scares me is the fact that you have a team that was not expected to make the playoffs, no expectation whatsoever. Yeah. And then you have a team that was built, kind of that gambled onto because they want to win the, the championship. Yeah. And this is kind of like, it reminded me, I'm a little scared because it reminds me a little bit of that, um, that Golden State team back in 2008, the We Believe team, who yeah. never thought they were going to make the playoffs. Yeah. No one expected them to do anything. And you have a team like Dallas then that was, yeah. you know, that had one of the best records in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And and, and Dirk was coming off an MVP season, yeah. and it was just like a gap. And they next. just lost the this finals is, the year before. Yeah, too, yeah, and and so it was kind of scary to have that. <laughs> to so, um, but I think they're gonna do fine. I think um, I'm I'm actually going close to that sweep. So four mm-hmm. or five games. Mm-hmm. I think they needed. They pop. Golan is probably gonna win mm-hmm. one game in at home <laughs> just because of the fact that. They haven't made the playoffs in seven years. Yeah, yeah. They had a playoff drought since Dwight Howard's yeah. days. Yeah. So this is the first time I think yeah. they're gonna they're gonna really really go home and 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 get a win, nice. punch a win just because of the fact that they the fans are hungry there. So, <laughs> but what are your thoughts about I guess the um, the matchup? Who will be the matchup between two teams that you want to see on this on this playoff round? I just want to see Vucevic and Ibaka. Like Go defensively, ahead. I want to see Ibaka or Marcus All Vucevic, mm-hmm. but we don't have really answer mm-hmm. for Vucevic. The way he plays is very like hard, like like physical. Mm-hmm. So we'll see, because that's kind of like for the next round. That's gonna be because next round is Embiid. So that's kind of like training them to, to get against yeah. Embiid. So I want to ask right. you, so yeah. Yeah. who do you think coming off the bench when it comes to Serge or Marcus All? I say. Marc Gasol. Mark, so you think Marc Gasol should go off the bench? Yeah, against, he's oh, going to start man. over Serge. I think for matchup yeah, purposes, that mm-hmm. might be... I, I, I agree yeah. in that as well, mm-hmm. just because I think um, Marc Gasol is a, has a better kind of length to yeah. put on Vucevic, yeah. because Vucevic is really talented as a scorer, yeah. but he can, he can beat you in many ways. I mean, he's yeah. a really talented um, post. Mm-hmm. Marc Gasol has yeah. that playoff feel, feeling already, yeah. so... Mm-hmm. I think having Mark Gasol is a huge upgrade over JV. A very mm-hmm. huge upgrade. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. So, need, um, who do you think in this round would be the X factor for the Raptors? So, like, who do you think is going to make the biggest impact on the court uh, when it comes to this round specifically against Orlando? Everyone's paying attention to Pascal. Mm-hmm. But, like to see Just how he's <laughs> how he's going already. Yeah. Yeah. He should not have been 27 overall pick. He should been been lower. Mm-hmm. Like he's already the MVP by by any means. Mm-hmm. You see what he's bringing to the team: average numbers and points per game. He's tearing it up. I agree. Spicy here all the way. Who do you think is uh, besides Pascal? What's your? Uh, I think not for Raptors. I think for Orlando, 
It has to be Terrence Ross because mm. this is kind of like his it's comeback. Yeah. Kinda, you know, take it, ba- yeah. take back to the raps, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And then yeah. he, before he left Raptors, he had the like, har- like, a uh, little article or like a letter, heartfelt mm-hmm. letter to Raptors house mm-hmm. in Toronto. How he I agree. Toronto. So yeah. anything he's gonna yeah. come with a bang. Like I yeah. mean, he's had a, like an amazing breakout season. Yeah. By all means, coming off the bench for the Orlando, and he's yeah. finally found a role that he kind of fits in. Mm-hmm. And I think it's one of the reasons why they make the playoffs, just mm-hmm. because what he brings to the table off the bench. Uh, my pick actually is coming off the bench, just because of the fact that. Uh, Orlando doesn't have a really good bench mm-hmm. coming in, uh, and their guard play is it's not as uh, I think either Jeremy or Fred Van Fleet is going to have a really yeah. good series here coming off the bench. Uh, they can have a really good impact mm-hmm. off that uh, second unit and uh, just the way they play. I mean, I think Van Fleet is just a really nice player to have a back, as a backup, and, and and now that he's more of his natural position where he doesn't have to think about setting up players because that's where Jeremy Lin comes in. That pick and roll game is his, is his bread and butter where Fred Van Fleet can be that person that they need to just catch and shoot, straight up catch and drive to the basket. That's where he really excels in as opposed to a playmaker. Now that he's put on that position, I think he's going to be a really good X factor coming into this round. Yeah. Yeah, but his shooting has been off lately, so yeah. hopefully... Oh, he can, he can find his groove yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. That's what everyone is worried about. <laughs> mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's where uh, that's where we remember last year. That's where he made his money in. Like the same thing that the same way that Norman Powell did a couple mm-hmm. years ago, where he shined. Fred Van Fleet was that last year for us in the playoffs. So I think mm-hmm. this year coming in, he's locked and loaded. That's I think he's gonna be. For, with Fred yeah. Van Fleet being injured last year, mm-hmm. he's gonna be huge too. I'm not. Saying Jeremy alone, right? Yeah. So, what have you liked so far about our addition with Jeremy Lin and Marcus All? Um, when I when I heard the news, yeah. I was excited. Like, who ain't excited? The Asian community <laughs> is true. doing a good yeah, job. Pacific Mall, we're happy yeah. about right? it. Yeah. So, I knew something was gonna break. Mm-hmm. The very last minute, Masai made that move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone had. Everyone needs to change, right? Yeah. yeah. It's it, part of basketball, right? True. So you n- you never know who's who's making a call. Mm-hmm. Masai's one of the greatest GM. Yeah. GMs. I agree. And Bobby Webster's doing a wonderful job too. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Everyone behind the Raptors <laughs> is doing great. So mm-hmm. I give them credit. I give everybody credit. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice about it, too. Yeah. But it's also you've given players like the song, mm-hmm. like I mentioned, and Lynn, yeah. the opportunity to go from a team that was either tanking yeah. or was going in a different direction. All of a sudden, you put them in a team that mm-hmm. has championship aspiration and that mm-hmm. just energizes anybody yeah. else. He had right? problems with Memphis. Mm-hmm. With, remember the coach getting fired? Yeah, and it's just and all like that stuff. So put him in for a situation. Him to come here, like it, the, everything is about ca- a Canadian basketball and <laughs> like. like you know, different experience from Memphis to here. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's all we have, guys, for our segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I had really a good time with Monique here and with James. Before we end the show, any last words you want to say? Our camera's right there to the audience. Where can they find you? Any last words? I want to give a huge shout-out to Dwayne Watson for giving me my first ever interview. I never imagined meeting Mo Pete, what it did for my life. <laughs> turning it up in, in a good direction. And to the fans, keep following at Superfemmo Official or on Facebook or, or Twitter at Mo Raptors Fan. Awesome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And James, so any last words you want to say? Uh, to just friend? check out the blogs at PinoyCrossover.ca mm-hmm. and read and watch the YouTube videos and Pinoy crossover and yeah. other things like that. So yeah. Awesome. And guys keep tuning in. <laughs> Pinoy crossover at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We've enjoyed every single time we interact with you guys. You know we're here to respond and we're here to debate. Like any topics that we put up, I want you guys to respond and us. Tell us if we're wrong. Tell us if we're making a, a wrong decision when it comes to all these analysis because we want to have that interaction with you guys. And other than that, stay balling everybody. <laughs> <laughs>